been learning from each other at last. Indeed, we can be done and we shall go to dance.
but Mark is very grounded, there's a lot of breath and contraction. The less important is very linear, there's a lot of shape. So those are some of the movements that you saw here. And then I incorporated gutting traditional movements that I learned while I've been here. So that is the essence of what this piece was about. So I I had assistance from Ushanta. 
hotel over there. Um, and we went to the market and we were looking at different frames. And I, I wanted to bring that when you look at it, you, you would think, oh, okay, this is done. So that's what I tried to do. Um, the piece is broken up into sections. So the first part of the dance was the traditional section. So I tried to keep it traditional looking, um, but also with like a little bit of a modern flair. That's why we had their like costumes in this way. Um, but they had the beaded headbands and we had like the, I think we had their wool on them. And then for the modern part, um, this was the duet. I again tried to stick to like a traditionally modern dance costume. So that's why I have the like, clothing dress on. And um, the dancer that I did the where he's supposed to be representing something um, meaningful to me. So that's why he was dressed in all white. And then for the ending, it was supposed to be a fusion of both. So that's why I had on the traditional top of the ballet bottom. And then your second question was, am I taking technique classes here? No, I'm enrolled in the traditional dance classes. So that's where like, the movement that was doing in both classes is what I tried to apply in the dance. And you said, what was the process like when I enrolled? You know, that one, combining great, uh, Martha Graham and Lester Gordon technique was not hard for me because those are, are styles that I'm used to do back in Los Angeles. It was a challenge for me trying to incorporate the traditional movement into that and not make it look like when we're doing segregated movements. So I think that was the biggest challenge for me, trying to blend the three together and make it look like something new versus segregated Thank you. 
p.m. You have your dancers there at 6.45, stretching, warming up, ready to start at 7 on the dock. Um, and rehearsals can go until whenever the choreography or choreographer feels as though you're good to go. So I've been in rehearsals where we started at midnight and we didn't finish until 4 a.m. and then we had the performance the next day. So I think uh, working with dancers in the state is just different because discipline and work ethic is ingrained into them and so they know that if you're not here at this time you'll be dropped from the work if it's a paid gig you'll be fired if you're not there ready to start on the time so that was something that was a challenge for me because i'm used to <coughs> doing things on a set schedule and having to work with her a certain way so that it, it was a big challenge when i Let's have rehearsal at two, and I have to be coming up at two forty-five and laying down. And in, in the world that I'm coming from, when you're rehearsing, there's no there's no downtime. You don't you don't get to just lay around in between rehearsals or sit down. You're always practicing, always moving until rehearsal's over. So that was something that was very different. So again, when working um, with lighting designers, sound technicians, set designers, you they normally meet with the choreographer, and then the choreographer tells them what their ideas are, what they would like to see, and then those technicians give them a sketch, and then like we work together, and they are paid once the work is done. Here in Ghana, that's a completely different um, work standard. The, the technicians, <laughs> they like to receive the money before the work is done. So that's a challenge too because sometimes they'll take the money and then they won't show up to your rehearsal and you're left to do tech and sound and light and you have no one there to do it. So, it's, it's frustrating as a choreographer when people are demanding money from me but then they haven't done the work yet. So, that was a challenge. I wanted to know more from the dancers and the musicians. I know you had some specific name choreographers. How your experience was working in American? Yeah, well, uh,
there were no American dancers here that I was associated with who are trained in rock and dance technique and less recording technique. But were any of the Ghanaian dancers trained in that technique? No, this is why I taught them that technique and they taught me there and I've been working together. I am confident in trying to relate the team of the performance and the title. Um, she's been talking throughout the rest of the thing about um, the culture speech. And um, the title is Opa. So in whose eye are we viewing the title? Is it from the eye or from us? If it's from her, what is the for the title? Yes, I didn't hear. All right. Um, I'm saying that I'm in constant and difficulty in trying to relate. <coughs> I'm in constant and difficulty in trying to relate the theme of the title and your title. The title means, the title is for fun. What do you call me? So I'm asking that in whose eye are you reading the title? Is it from yours or from the title? Is it from yours? What's the text and the title? Yes. Hello? So I have a discussion about that. So you said for the title, who like whose eye is it from? Is it from my eye or the audience? And I said it's from my perspective. So I am from my perspective. Don't worry. I'm going for the Western societal practices, going for the Ghanaian traditional practices, and creating that merger to give out to the audience. So we have one thing for the for the Ghanaian, for the American style, and then for you, the American company, for your offer. Yeah. You want to create Ghanaian dances. Yeah. The only thing, um, um, in Kabul, without being a better way to describe it, the movement is that it's important for us to have a different idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we have to have a different idea. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
together. I'm exactly the same amount of both things. <laughs> All right. Any other? Yes. Who's going to react? Okay, please let, let him react. Let me have some silence, please. And you can see it most of the time, let's say in the fishing part where they have to go like this, that's where the contraction. So there are these little nitty-gritties in it. You have to really observe and she plays the symbols as well. And also you can see that she tries to intertwine with music, dance and costume. Yes, when she came with the point, there was what? A bell, uh, uh, Gakobi, uh, Ahache, and the Palogo down to the Jimmy, containing her while she was coming. Yes, so she tried to use it, and you can see the costume also talks about it. So there are many symbolic aspects in the piece, many symbolism in the piece, and also in relation to the music and the dance as well. Alright, so um, I think, I think, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Adults. What you were saying, I think when you asked her to she didn't answer about uh, why she did just a short version of the point. It's because this is not a mali floor. Um, okay, point shoes are mostly used for mali floors to hold or grip the shoe, the surface of the shoe to the floor you are dancing on. And this floor is really simply for a point shoe. That's why you didn't see much of that. We didn't who want to be part of the All right, so um, in our Asian society, when the part of the house is, it's done, it's, it's said that when the part of the house backs, then that's the last quarter of the house. Okay, so if you use the last quarter in the house back, nobody yeah. is back. So but invite our part of the house to give us a brief comment, and then that will bring our discussion to. But what I enjoy most was the post of our discussion. And just to summarize it all, whether it is Kofa or Kamu, it actually speaks to the evolving Africa. Uh, you definitely have to know who you are, you definitely have to know your identity to be able to even harness what you are calling diversity. Because if you're talking about diversity and you don't know where you start, then that diversity means nothing to you. And so we've seen it in the material that she used. Uh, I think sincerely that um, the articulation of some of the themes uh, was done by the dancers, musicians, which also shows the holistic nature of the piece. And I attempted to say that this is a collaborative creative piece and not one single person's idea. True or false? Yeah, we all work together. Yes, and that also shows that spirit of community cohesion and peaceful coexistence. So I just want to thank you.